Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to talk about the uncollected Mojo boss, and he has been giving people some trouble. And we're going to talk about why, and I will show you some fights, and we're going to try to explain what you need to do to get this guy down. All right, let's skip that. All right, let's take a look at the active buffs on this node. And we've got extra attack and health, which is going to play a part. Uh, we have higher energy resistance, 80%. We've got power bond. So champions that rely on power locking, they're going to be less effective. We've got healing and regeneration. So he's going to recover 200% more health. You've got this shifting immunity. So every 10 seconds, he's going to change his immunity. So if you go in here with a champion that is reliant on bleed damage or poison damage, they're going to be less effective because every 10 seconds, he's going to shift to a different immunity and he's going to purify the effect. So your bleeds every 10 seconds are going to get purified. Doesn't mean that you can't use a bleed champion you just need to be aware of that but it's this final one that is going to be problematic and on its face it's not that difficult to play around but as we will see in a moment when we look at mojo's abilities combined with his abilities this node here is a pain so rising sun i believe this is the first time we're seeing this in the contest when the defender is struck the attacker gains a fury buff that sounds great, right? Granting 2.5% attack rating for 25 seconds. That 25 seconds is a long time in a fight. Once the attacker has 10 Fury buffs, any additional ones will inflict them with a stacking passive degen, dealing 12% of the defender's attack over four seconds. So when you're fighting in uncollected mode, you're fighting with a beefed up mojo. You've got extra attack. So that degen is going to be crazy because of the inflated node, okay? Now, if an attacker lands a heavy attack, their fury buffs are removed. So on the face, if this is all you had to worry about, it would be pretty straightforward to deal with. You would, you know, parry because he doesn't have any limber. So you would parry him. Do your five hit combo, parry, five hit combo, parry, heavy, and you're good. And if you go in here with a champion that has a strong heavy attack, like Wasp or Captain America Infinity War, then it's perfect. You can weave in heavy attacks in the middle of your combo with Wasp, or of course with Cap, you can just do a parry heavy style straight through and you never have to worry about this rising sun okay so not that bad to deal with now let's take a look at mojo's abilities uh yes he is a villain he's extra large let's take a look here uh we're not going to go into his signature ability you can read that on your own but i want to talk about what's going to cause you pain when you go up against him in uncollected mode. All right. And first we're going to talk about these audience prompts. So throughout the fight, you're going to see prompts on the right hand side of your screen. And if either champion does what that prompt wants, and we'll look at a list of the prompts, then Mojo is going to gain 1 million followers. Uh, if the prompt expires without being completed, the prompt fails and he loses five million. Uh, when a prompt is completed, and this is why you are wanting to be concerned about the prompts, he's gonna activate his anti-life field for seven seconds. We're gonna talk about that in a moment because that's what's gonna cause most people to fail. All right, so let's keep going down here and let's take a look at his anti-life field. So when this is active, and remember, that's when you complete the prompts here. Remember, 
Okay, when a prompt is completed, he's gonna activate this for seven seconds. So while this is going, any buff that's triggered on the opponent has a 90% reduced duration. That means that that fury that you get when hitting him is going to expire very quickly. And any time a buff is nullified or expires off of the opponent, Mojo passively degens them, and that's a lot of degen, as you will see in the gameplay to come. So you want to avoid hitting him while he has his anti-life field up. But keep in mind that there are a couple of ways you're going to get this degen. What if you went in here with a champion that already has a lot of buffs? When his anti-life feel is up and your buffs get reduced and expire, you're going to get that degen again, even if you don't hit him. So going in here with a champion that relies on a lot of buffs or has a lot of buffs, not a good idea. All right. And you're not going to avoid triggering his anti-life field, uh, maybe with Quake, perhaps. All right, so here we go. You can look at the audience adoration. You read that on your own. All right, so look at his heavy attack. If a prompt is active, Mojo replaces it with a new prompt. That's when he does a heavy attack. All right, you can see the special attacks here. All right, you can read those. And then we end with a list of the possible prompts. So just take a look at these. You're not going to avoid these prompts, okay, for the most part. All right, charge a heavy attack, attack, uh, activate a special, dash backwards, you know, block a hit. Now, it's only when the prompt is active, though, that you want to avoid any of these, but you also need to avoid him doing it. So it's a pain, okay? Back into a corner, knock down a champion. So a lot of prompts, and you want to avoid doing it as much as possible, but if you see his active, um, his anti-life field up, the best you can do is avoid hitting him. Now, there are some other things you can do as far as buffs go. For example, dex. If he has his anti-life field up and you dex backwards, well, guess what? You're going to get a buff. It's going to expire. You're going to get degen. So that is what you have to deal with with Mojo in Uncollected. So now we're going to take a look at some gameplay and I will talk through it, and you can see what I was able to do. I do get a one-shot as well, and we'll talk about that when we get there. All right, so this first fight is with Ghost. So this is my first time going up against Mojo. So you get a chance to see a little bit here. The D-Gen already ticking away. I don't really know quite how to fight him at this point. You can see the prompts off to the right-hand side. You see the anti-field is up. You see that I'm getting degen. You see those furies that Ghost has were expiring very quickly. Got me in a corner, just wrecked. Okay? So, ugly fight. Can probably do better with Ghost when I got more familiar with the fight. All right? So, this next fight, we're going to go in here with Colossus. Now, Colossus has a very powerful heavy attack once you can stun them. All right, so you see here, very good, very powerful. And we're just trying to finish off this fight with Colossus. But one thing to bear in mind, he gets a lot of armor up buffs. Okay, so not ideal. There's the anti-life field. I got hit, but look at each of my armor up buffs that I'm getting, see how quickly they're expiring because of the anti-life field, and just look at that degen. So Colossus, not a great option for this fight. So now let's take a look at Wasp. I mentioned Wasp earlier. Now, I didn't fight this very well, 
but wasp is a decent option all right so the anti-life field is up and you're not really supposed to hit him but you'll notice that before my furies expired under the anti-life field i fired off a heavy to get rid of them before they expired so i didn't get the degen but later on i'm getting the degen because i'm not paying attention uh the way that i should so at this point i just went in to do as much damage as i could before i went down i realized early that i just fought it all wrong all right now here's another attempt with Colossus. Now at this point, I'm a little more familiar with Mojo, a little more familiar with his animations, more familiar with his abilities. So we're going to give it the old college try here. All right. So we got in a good heavy attack, parry, and you'll notice that this time I am playing it pretty slow, pretty cautiously. All right, but there's nothing I can do about those armor up buffs. So here's the anti-life field. And I went ahead and hit him, which I probably shouldn't have done. All right. And I've got those furies. Want to get rid of those. Fight off that special two, which did so much damage. And I do not know how to evade this special two. But here we go again. But he took me out. That degen is vicious, okay? Now, you've seen my failures, and now watch my first success. I'm more familiar with his animations, abilities, and I'm going in here with Cap Infinity War. All right, and you can see I'm doing a parry, heavy style. You'll notice I am not hitting him during his anti-life field. All right, here we go. Boom. All right. Slow playing it. I did mess up there. Hit him during the anti-life field. And we're just going to keep going here. Boom, boom. I don't want to push him to that special two because I don't know how to evade it. Uh, still, I need more practice. All right. So I'm just trying to bait out that special one. He didn't want to throw it. But we didn't need him to. Vicious. Captain America Infinity War is a beast we got the nice damage on that special two all right so he is a great option for mojo and we'll end the video with a second fight with again captain america infinity war this one doesn't have that spectacular ending with a eighty-seven thousand crit on his special two so you'll be able to see a little bit more of a fight all right so i'm doing the same thing parry heavy we want to try and bait that out he was nice he obliged us we're avoiding him during the anti-life field that's hard for me to do because i'm very aggressive fighter all right uh captain america also puts those petrifies on him so when he's doing his regen that's not going to happen all right we're still going in here and then there we go. He used a special attack while the prompt was up. So anti-life field again. This time I did hit him. So now I'm getting a little bit of the degen. I tried for that special two again. It didn't work. No crit rather. Um, but he did get stunned. Then I baited out that special one. So see, this is a little bit of a longer fight. But as you can see, Captain is still putting in that work. All right. So... That's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully, this will help you take down that uncollected mojo boss. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.